medial to the foramen oval here I will find the foramen lateral. Foramen lateral usually transmit nothing. Some people say that transmit the internal carotid artery and the sympathetic fibers surrounding it. But for us, it transmits nothing. This is the posterior cranial fossa, and this is the petrous part of the temporal bone. This is the, its apex, and this is the upper border of it, and this is the antro lateral surface, and this is the posterior surface of this petrous part. This petrous part, it contains the middle ear and the inner ear inside it. Here is the foramen, which is an important also foramen. This is the internal acoustic meatus, or they call it internal auditory meatus. It transmits the facial nerve, the statoacoustic nerve, or vestibular cochlear nerve, or cranial nerve number eight, and it also transmits the leprensine artery. On the upper border of it, here lies the superior petrosa sinus. Because the superior petrosa sinus, it drains the cavernous sinus and then go to the termination of the transverse sinus. And this groove for the inferior petrosa sinus, which passes through the jugular foramen to end into the internal jugular vein outside the skull. So this is a groove for the inferior petrosa sinus and this is for the superior betrothal sinus and as you know the cavernous sinus is drained only by the superior and the inferior betrothal sinuses. This is the jugular foramen and the jugular foramen transmits in its anterior compartment the inferior betrothal sinus. In its middle compartment it transmits cranial nerve number nine number 10, and the spinal part of the accessory nerve. So the glossopharyngeal nerve, the vagus nerve, and the spinal part of the accessory nerve passes in the middle compartment. The posterior compartment, it transmits the internal jugular vein as a continuation of the sigmoid sinus. So this is the jugular foramen. It's an important foramen also. And this is the foramen magnum. In front of it, I will find the hypoglossal canal or hypoglossal foramen. It transmits the hypoglossal nerve. And this is the foramen magnum, which will transmit the spinal cord, which transmits the meninges, the later, the bayometer arachnoid and the durameter. It transmits also CSF in the subarachnoid space. It also transmits the spinal part of the accessory nerve, which enter the cranial the cranium through this foramen, the foramen uh, magnum. Also the vertebral arteries passing through it and their branches, the anterior and posterior the spinal arteries passing through it. This is the foramen magnum.